At the end of my last video, it was my understanding that I had two options. I can send my throttle back to Digitrax, or I could get a Digitrax PR4 and update the firmware myself. Welcome to Humanity Junction, where the city intersects with humans. I opted for the PR4 as it would be a good to have a USB to LocoNet interface for using with JMRI, and I'm sure this is not the last firmware update I would need to make to this throttle. When the PR4 arrived, I read what I could on doing firmware updates, but I could not find a lot of information. I looked on YouTube for a video on updating a Digitrax throttle, but the only video that came up was my first video on the subject. Getting the PR4 set up and connected to the computer was very simple. I mostly followed the setup information that I saw on other videos for using the PR4 with JMRI. I confirmed that the computer was properly connected and loaded up the correct firmware and proceeded to press the Start Programming button. Programming failed. I read the provided manual multiple times, but I could not find any information on firmware updates in the PR4 manual. I went online to the groups.io Digitrax group and posted more about my issue. It was from this group that I received the document Digitrax Device Firmware Update Instructions. From further discussions on the group message board, I realized that my setup was not correct. With the PR4, you can use it to update decoders and sound files, or use it with a programming track in JMRI. But to do firmware updates, you need a LocoNet command station. Since I have a command station with LocoNet, I thought that hooking it up to the PR4 was going to solve my problems. It was late at night, so I left this project until the next day. On the second day, I was very excited as I hooked everything up. It was the same setup for the first day, except I also connected the LocoNet T output of the Digikize DR5000 to the other LocoNet port on the PR4. This time, when I hit the start programming button, the update process was running. The LEDs on the PR4 started flashing. I knew that I might have to run the update process a few times, so I was not too concerned when there were still no signs of life on the throttle. The first update attempt did fail, and then I tried again another six times without any changes. I reached back out to the Digitrax help desk as well as to Ryan at Iron Planet Hobbies. He is the US distributor of Digikais. Ryan also sells a lot of other DCC systems and is very experienced in connecting these different systems together. Digitrax said that I could send in my throttle and they could update it for me, but there are other planned updates so it would only be a temporary solution. He said that any Digitrax command station will work. So now I'm looking for a good price on a DCS50 or similar. Ryan at Iron Planet Hobbies is going to do some testing this weekend as well and see if he could come up with any other solutions. Where this situation is a bit frustrating to me is that by the time I get a PR4 and a Digitrax command station to go along with the DT602D, I could have just bought the TCS Universal Throttle, the UWT100. My original plan was to get a Digitrax throttle, the DT602D, and a Roco WLAN multi-mouse for the same $300 cost of the Universal Throttle. But once adding in the PR4 and a command station, I'm just getting very close to the cost of an Iowa Scaled Engineering Proto Throttle. Maybe I should have just skipped the DT602D, the multi-mouse, and the UWT100 and gotten a Proto Throttle. In the meantime, I'm trying to find someone local that I can borrow a Digitrax command station from so that I can complete the update of my throttle. Once I can get my hands on this command station, I'm going to create a video on how to update the firmware on Digitrax throttle so that it's available for everyone. I'm already bracing for the constructive criticism that I'm going to get in the YouTube comments on this video, but I thought this video was good to post so that my experiences will help other people to not make the same mistakes that I did. Thank you for watching. Please leave any comments or questions below and don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe and select the bell icon to receive notifications. Thanks again and have a great day. I reached back out to the Digitrax help desk as well as to Ryan at I am I reached back out to the Digitrax help desk as well as to Ryan at Iron Planet Hobbies. He is the US distributor I reached back out to the dib
I reached back out to the Digitrax help desk as well as to Ryan at Iron Planet Hobbies. He is the U.S. distributor... I reached back out to the Digitrax help desk as well as to Ryan at Iron Planet Hobbies. He is the U.S. distributor of Digikais. Ryan... I reached back out to the Digitrax help desk... I reached back out to the Digitrax help desk at... In the meantime, I'm trying to find someone local that I can borrow a Digitrax command station from so that I can complete the update. In the meantime... In the meantime, I'm trying to find someone local that I can borrow a Digitrax command station from so that I can complete the update of the DT602D. Once I can get my hands on a command station, I'm going to create a video on how to update the firmware on a Digitrax throttle so that it's a... In the meantime, I'm trying to find someone local that I can borrow a Digitrax command station from so that I can update the... In the meantime, I'm trying to find someone local that I can borrow a Digitrax command station from so that I can complete the update of the DT602D. Once I get my hands on this Digitrax command station, I'm going to create a video on how to update the firmware on a Digitrax throttle so that it's available for everyone. I'm bracing for all the... In the meantime, I'm trying to find someone local that I can borrow a Digitrax command station from so that I can complete the update of the DT602D. Once I get... <clears throat> In the meantime, I'm trying to find someone local that I can borrow a Digitrax command station from so that I can complete the update on the DT602D. Once I get my hands on this command station, I'm going to create a video on how to update the firmware on a Digitrax throttle so that it's available for everyone. In the meantime, I'm trying to find someone local that I can borrow a Digitrax command station from so that I can complete the update of the DT602D. Once I get my hands on this command station, I'm going to create a video on how to do this update so that it is available for everyone. I'm already bracing for all of the... In the meantime, I'm trying to find someone local that I can borrow a Digitrax command station from so that I can complete the update. In the meantime, I'm trying to find someone local that I can borrow a Digitrax command station from so that I can complete the update of the throttle. Once I can get my hands on this command station, I'm going to create a video on how to update the firmware on a Digitrax throttle so that it's available for everyone. I'm already bracing for all the constructive criticism...
In the meantime, I'm trying to find someone local that I can borrow a Digitrax command station from so that I can complete the update of my throttle. Once I can get my hands on a Digitrax command station, I'm going to create a video on how to update the firmware on a Digitrax throttle so that it's available for everyone. I am already bracing for all of the constructive criticisms. I'm already bracing for all the constructive criticism that I'm going to get in the YouTube comments on this video, but I thought this video was good to post so that my experiences will help other people to not make the same mistakes that I did. <clears throat> In the meantime, I'm trying to find someone local that I can borrow a Digitrax command station from so that I can complete the update of my DT602D. Once I can get my hands on a Digitrax command station, I'm going to create a video on how to update the firmware on Digitrax throttles so that it's available for everyone. I am already bracing for all of the con I'm already bracing for all of the constructive criticism that I'm going to get in the YouTube comments, but I thought this video was good to post so that my experiences will help other people to not make the same mistakes that I did. Go back, use the use the version before, forget about this last version. <clears throat> 